Good morning again. I'm meteorologist Michael White here in the Fox 10 Storm Tracker Center. This is your mid morning weather update for Thursday, and it has been just a rain soaked mess. Watch warning map. A flash flood warning as of 10 a.m. is issued for parts of Mobile County, and it includes downtown Mobile, West Mobile, all the way to the airport, the I 65 corridor from I 10 up to Pritchard and Chickasaw, and even includes Theodore and Irvington. And the rain has been coming down hard in this spot, but it's also been coming down hard almost everywhere. This is a rain our look at 10 a.m. and you can see that some of the rain has gone light to moderate, but right around Mobile and the eastern shore, it's still coming down very hard and the lightning has still been extremely intense. Now the good news is we will see less rain coverage as we progress in toward the afternoon. So when you pick up the kids from school, you leave work today, things will look better, but we'll zoom in tighter and you can see just how hard that rain is falling. Here's Cottage Hill Road at Dawes Road and you follow that all the way to I-65 and you're you're dealing with heavy rain the whole way. Same thing on parts of Airport Boulevard, Spring Hill Avenue, parts of I-10, Halls Mill Road, McGowan Park at the Fox 10 Studios. The range is coming down very, very heavily. And as we pull back, you can see the heavy rain running all the way into the eastern shore, Spanish Fort and Daphne getting rain soaked. But the heaviest rain by far is what's happening in West Mobile all the way to downtown. And that's the reason why the flash flood warning has been issued. It goes till at least 345. Now it may be dropped sooner than that if the rain back off, but we'll just have to watch the radar trends as we go through the course of the morning. A stalled front around I-20 is part of the reason why the rain coverage has been just so widespread. And you can see over the on this loop over the last 12 hours how quiet things were early this morning and how we just started seeing more and more and more and more storm development as the morning progressed. We will eventually see things calming down though a little later today. Switching gears and checking out the tropics. There's one disturbance out there and it's over Belize and that disturbance is going to move into the Bay of Campeche. The odds of it becoming a tropical storm a little higher than yesterday, coming in at 30%, but the odds still relatively low and everything else in the Atlantic Basin is quiet for now, thank goodness, because this month and September are the most active of the hurricane season. Let's go through the future cast and look at all of the rain that we've got right now, but notice when you pick the kids up from school how most of that rain is gone. We will see things pretty calm when a lot of you get home from work. But it is possible we can have a few nighttime showers and a few thunderstorms track from west to east. We'll have to be monitoring that. I know a few high school football games do go on tonight, and we will see a few showers around early tomorrow morning. So for the afternoon, it is going to be better and it won't be as hot. We'll be in the upper 80s drier with a northwest wind at four to eight miles per hour tonight. Low 70s, partly cloudy, but there will be some overnight rain to dodge and check things out as we move forward over the next several days. Highs are going to be in the mid to upper 80s all the way through next weekend. No 90 degree heat, which is great. Rain and storm coverage does throttle down to 50% starting Sunday through next week. So the rain coverage will be a little lower, but we're we're still going to have to dodge thunderstorms at least occasionally each day for the next week and a half. Jennifer and Jason will update the forecast. That's coming up later this afternoon on Fox 10 beginning at 4, and I will have more weather updates throughout the day on the Fox 10 weather app, fox10tv.com, and all of our social media channels. Have a great Thursday and stay dry.